Researchers are most often than not are the unsung heroes who spend hours, days and months in their labs coming up with innovative and life-changing products to make our daily life easier. And it's truly a rare sight uh, and uh, as we can see here in the iTex, it's not always that we're able to congregate the best mind academicians and researchers under one roof. And one of the examples of such researchers, researchers here today with me is actually the project leader in the in-house fabricated conduct nano layers for photonic devices quite a mouthful there and I would, I'm here to introduce Dr. Guru Mutu Hegde and uh, on his product and how it will be able to make our life easier and at a much lower cost okay hi doctor why don't you share with me I see that you have all your gadgets here today and uh, it's quite a mouthful in-house fabricated conducting nano layers for photonic devices what is this and how is it relevant to us uh, actually when you see about uh modern day televisions, laptops, flat panel screens, everything works on the conducting layers. But the conducting layers which available in the market is very expensive because it uses the complicated vacuum technologies and uh, other things involved in deposition techniques. So to improve this one, it's not easy to reduce the cost of the devices like that. So to overcome this one, we come up with an idea which we call it as an oil thermal annealing so what we basically do is we coat uh, ITO layers on top of the normal glass plates. Then we will dip this in the oil thermal bath. So what happens is the before dipping the oil thermal bath, there should be a lot of defects present in the system can be removed using the oil thermal bath. So this way we can improve the conducting layer drastically. So what are the characterization can be done with that? The first thing to overcome of this conducting layer is to check whether it is transmit highly transmittance or not. And the second thing is whether it is having the low sheet resistance or not. So here we am checking. You can see the you can see this one. This is before immersing in the oil thermal bath. So I can show you the value of this one. So you can see the value, which is about uh, 12 kilo ohms, which is quite high for the display industry is considered. Then what we will do is we will dip this one in the oil thermal annealing. Then again, we will measure the sheet resistance, which is here. You can see it's very low. So if I change it to the different scale, I can get 40 ohms. That means values decrease from 12,000 ohms to 40 ohms, which is a phenomenal decrease in sheet resistance, which is all which is as equal as commercially available devices. In this way, we can not only reducing the cost, but also we can make sure that it is having the high resistance and also it is having the very high transmittance. Right, and uh, Dr. Guru, all thermal annealing, that's the word here for today. It looks like this discovery by you um, might be able to someday in the future change the designs of uh, gadgets that we have, for example, my handphone or my laptop. So what are the possibilities that we're looking at with this uh, oil uh, thermal annealing or OTA? Uh, the main idea is the technology is moving and uh, now we are moving more into the flexible display devices. and. Uh, Coating on plastics is not an easy technology. So our idea is to using this technology, we have to transfer this to the plastics so that you can make the device much more easier and much more flexible so you can easily carry over anywhere because it not only reduces the uh, weight but also it's easy to handle. So here we made one device with the glass, you can see here, which I written my name on this one. So this is using our indium tin oxide layers. So one can easily see the high quality contrast between bright state and the dark state. So we wanted to convert this into the plastics in future. So this is the way to do that, which can reduce the cost of the mobile phone, plastic displays or flat panel television drastically. And uh, Dr. Guru, last but not least, the technology that you have here looks very promising indeed. And uh, I'm, uh, what's the development phase that it's at right now? Are you looking at commercializing it really soon? It will be available in the market really soon? Uh, is a, the uh, product is ready for commercialization. We are already we already tie up with some companies uh, which are going to take care of the commercialization thing. So we are just negotiating with them how to go forward f future to make this in a bigger scale. Well, that's definitely one good news that we hear here today. This product is up and ready for commercialization, and hopefully, with an uh, exhibition such as iTex, you'll be able to gather more uh, appropriate uh, parties 
to come up with innovative product like this and also to help commercialize your other inventions that you're currently working at in your lab. Thank you very much, Dr. Guru, and it's a truly a pleasure to be able to meet you here today. Okay.